Hey guys, this is Sean Klinger with Vinyl MX, and today we are looking at a review of Alpine Star's SX1 V2 knee guards. Now, last year there was a lot of debate. Uh, Rhino came out and was like, oh, knee braces are the devil and you shouldn't wear them and they restrict your movement. Other people are like, knee braces are the way to go. Um, I, I fall somewhere on both sides of the fence. I mean, I've worn knee braces quite a bit. I like the protection they offer. I like the way they feel. I've worn knee guards and, and really enjoyed the freedom of movement, the comfort and, you know, mobility on the bike. And so I see the benefit of both. So we're looking at the Alpine Stars. They're kind of their, their most beefy knee guard before you get into knee braces. And it's a big jump between, I mean, price-wise and protection-wise from knee guards to knee braces. These are $109, almost $110. These are CE certified level one knee protectors. So first off, sizing, uh, we have a small medium, a large extra large, and a 2XL. So there's three sizes. Uh, for me, I'm 185 pounds. I wear a size large t-shirt, uh, wear a size 34 pant, and I have the large XL size guards, and um, they're a little big, which is surprising because I would never consider myself small, maybe medium in some uh, some different gear. These are just a little bit roomy in the knee for me, uh, but the upper part really fit my, my legs pretty well. So I would say if you're on the fence on sizing, uh, size down. If you're kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm a large medium, go with the medium um, because there's, there's a lot of room and there's a lot of the straps are very, um, there's only two straps, as you can see, and they're very stretchy. you got two elastic, fully elastic straps that um, secure the guard. Just because these run a little bit big and the straps are really stretchy, I found them, they did move around a little bit of migration around a bit, um, which wasn't wasn't awesome but i wear the liat uh knee brace pants that kind of wrap all the way down and then wrap back over the the guards and so that really holds them in place it doesn't really matter if you're wearing knee guards or knee braces or anything those pants are pretty awesome they they really hold everything in place so i wear those with these um if i didn't they'd move around a bit so that's something to consider on sizing as well. Protection wise there are two hard plastic plates and they got hinges on both sides they're not crazy stiff i mean you can flex them a bit with your hand you can squeeze them and, and feel that there is some give there but i think you know it's a more rigid plastic on top and bottom and the coverage is a lot more than your typical knee guards that's what i like above the knee as well that's the cool thing about knee braces is that they typically go pretty high up your thigh and i've taken a handlebar to the thigh i've fallen down and hit that part of my leg before and knee braces really helped protect me where if I was wearing standard knee cups or something smaller like the EVS 199, the Travis Pastrana ones that are super popular, they don't go very far up the leg at all. And if you, uh, if you, you know, take any impact above the knee, it's just your pants. That's the only thing protecting you. So there is a little bit of that extended protection. They were really smart. Alpine Stars was really smart with the lower design that it tapers quite a bit at the bottom. So it's not too bulky going into the top of your boot. Also, no matter how far you bend your knee, there is full protection. Uh, the knee cup itself, the patella cup, is more of a rubbery um, protection piece and it stays in place. It stays against your knee cup and is not gonna move regardless of the shin piece or the thigh piece. So looking at the hinge, there is a bit of a, the, the hinge on the inside. It is way slimmer than knee braces. And I do like that there is a little bit of extra protection on either side of your knee. The padding also extends pretty far past the hinge. And therefore when you squeeze really hard with your knee, uh, it's a nice tapered feeling. It doesn't, you don't feel a bulky chunk of plastic between you and the bike. It's a very seamless transition. Um, there's no edges, it doesn't dig into your leg. Uh, it's really comfortable against the bike. Yeah, mobility on the bike, these move really well. There is a bit of flex feeling that just, you know, it bends and contours to your leg, it bends and contours to the shape of your leg, no matter how it's bent or how you're moving on the bike, whatever position you're in. Uh, the straps are very stretchy, like I said. They're elastic. There is a, a kind of a peg and slot. Once you get the, the length of the strap set the first time, and it's comfortable, 
you can leave it set, leave it strapped, and uh, just pop the peg out. So that way you don't have to reset it every time. Lastly, just overall, who is this guard for? I would say this is not anything close to what knee braces can do. And there's no any kind of rotational protection whatsoever. It is not designed for that. It is designed to cover a lot of your knee, uh, your shin, and up on the thigh, and to take an impact. Also, durability. I've worn these for a long time in conjunction with some other knee braces, some other knee guards, and I've had braces and guards that have broke before these. These have outlasted $800 knee braces without breaking or, or, or breaking down. So quality-wise, I am extremely happy with how you know, durable these have been. So if you're on VitalMX.com, check out our YouTube page, click like and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, you can go to VitalMX.com for race coverage, more product reviews, bike reviews, everything we got there. So thanks for watching.